for on Sports Talk Radio, for Radio Network.com. We're in the choir room um, with Curtis and Ladarius. They're going to show us this whole, we're going to uh, uh, we're going to do a demonstration of the cryo, um, and I'm not doing it. I'm just going to watch them do it. So y'all take it away. Yes, sir. Cool, cool. All right, so we're actually going to do a demonstration of a cryo and compression. So this young man here, I think you would like to, like to do the compression. So yes, we're going to throw you in right there. All right, so go ahead and come through. Now, uh, while he's setting up the compression, I'm going to send this young man over here. I'm going to go to the corner over there. Uh, we have socks, we have gloves. It's going to come out of everything that you have on down to your underwear or down to your, to your shorts. You want to expose as much skin as possible. Mm. All right, so you go to the corner, you can start getting started with that. Now, you want to know kind of what the purpose of, of this room is or these items in this room. Um, and there goes our other compression person right there. Uh, just step in. So, but um, the purpose of this room in itself is to promote blood flow. In order for the body to heal naturally without the use of ibuprofen or medicine, you, your body can heal naturally just through blood flow. Pushing fresh, nutriated, and oxygenated blood out to the body allows the body to recover. Uh, you have a pre-game and a post-game recovery. Pre-game for cryo kind of boosts endorphins, decreases fatigue, kind of gets you going, gets you loose, so that you can come out and what I call I call hoax smash. You come out on hoax smash, just ready to go. Uh, and like I said, that second win just kind of kicks in, and, and from there you just going. Uh, on the back end of it, from the recovery standpoint, again, it just kind of relaxes the body and it starts the body to recover so that the next day you're not so sore, so stiff, uh, and you're not walking around as if you're hurting, as if you just got done performing. Um, now, this compression, the compression is kind of like icing on top of the cake. Uh, the compression flushes that lactic acid and metabolic waste so that the legs, or so that the extremity that you're actually compressing on uh, it's fresh, so you can actually go do a game, you can go do a workout, you can come in here and do compression, which is a 15 minute session, and you can actually go right back out as if you haven't done anything. So when you, go ahead. Yeah, I'm gonna ask you a question. So, so, so let me ask you a question. What is he, what is he doing right now with the, with the legs and everything? And what is that, how does that heal? What is the healing process of that? All right, so what this does, it kind of goes in chambers. It starts at his feet and works itself all the way up to his thighs. Uh, again, what's going to happen is if he had just got through performing, just got through running, you kind of get that heavy leg syndrome. Mm -hmm. And so what this does, as you as you start to start to cool down, or say he just got through doing a bunch of squats, or he's been doing a bunch of workouts, legs and sore legs and stiff, this starts to flush the lactic acid that starts to build up in the body. Mm -hmm. So that stiffness, that pain that you start to get, it pushes it out through the blood and to the kidneys and again you urinate it out. But what happens is, Again, if he was playing in a tournament or if he was playing multiple games, he can literally do this, do that, come back in there 15, 20 minutes later, go right back out feeling as if he hasn't played a game at all. So the recovery process is kind of, this allows the recovery process to be yeah. like quicker than normal. Than normal, yes, definitely. Uh, it speeds it up, if I can say at least 50%. And I'm, I'm right now a, a walking guinea pig of this, of this stuff. Um, some of the things that it has allowed, that has allowed my body to do within two weeks, uh, normally I would be down. I would be down. It's injuries in this, in itself. Uh, but this definitely speeds the process up from four days to two days, from two days to one day. So you have to look at a whole. Uh, if you come in day one, you go hard. Day two, you go kind of hard, but not as hard as you did day one. Mm -hmm. Day three, you come in, uh, I, I'm, I'm kind of pushing through it. Day four, kind of going through the motions. Day five, you don't even want to be there. What this does is allow you day three, day four, day five to train the same way you did day one, day two. So now you start to see the growth. Now you start to see your, your increases because you're allowing your body to uh, to recover. Uh, and it's only a 15 minute process. This here in itself is a three minute process. So it's not a lot of time that it takes. It's just slowing down and actually taking the time to do it. So what was the the old way that they did it? Before, you, before this, what would, they, what would they used to do to kind of recover? Well, I can't say so much for that, but I definitely know this was an ice bath. 
So if you're familiar with the ice bath or you're familiar with Epsom salt and alcohol, green alcohol, which they all still work. Don't, don't get me wrong, that, that Epsom salt and alcohol works. Yeah. But um, that pain that you that sensation that you feel when you drop into the ice tub, uh those that first three minutes three minutes is pretty uh pretty pretty rough. Yeah. And so uh what this does you three minutes you're done with this. That's 15 to 20 minutes. Well, ice bath 15 to 20 minutes. Three minutes you're done with this thing. And it's not that cold, wet, uh, shivery when you're done. This is a dry cold, uh, liquid nitrogen that shoots on top of it, on top of your body. Uh, but you can leave and you're not wet or you don't have any wet going on uh, when you're done with this. Okay, so we just heard a deep loud sound. So what is that doing now? It just released. How did that feel when it released to you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it, it's, it just gets tight, gets tight, gets tight, gets tight to the point that it's almost unbearable. I, I, I'm gonna say you'd be like, hold on, man, is it supposed to do this? Yeah. And then just at that point, it releases. And what that does is allow the blood to rush back in into the body, into those legs, into the shrimps. So the science on this. Uh, or the technology behind this is this is actually something that was in the hospitals mm. for those patients that were on bed rest. Wow. And it, this was where that came from. Now they were trying to kind of evolve it into athletics. But 30 minutes of this is like eight hours of rest for that insurance. Wow. So I'm gonna ask you a question. As you're, as you're laying there, how does how, how it feel on your body? Um, I won't say you go numb, but you, actually you can feel how tight it is. And once it actually releases, you literally feel all the heat from the blood and Everything just goes straight down. So it does make you feel like okay, I can go jump, jump and run again. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, thought, I thought I was done after the first one, but it started over again. I was like, all right, cool. But, yeah, I could, I could go. Put your PlayStation on. You can sit there and do Madden, no, Madden yeah. 18 right no, now. Okay. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, athletes that train hard sleep in these things. Wow. Yeah, they sleep in these things. So every cycle takes a minute. That whole cycle is going up, going up, going up, going up, takes a minute. So he's going to get 15 cycles in 15 minutes. When he's done with this, literally he's going to get up and he's going to, he's going to want to do this because he's going to feel so like it uh, when he's done. Uh, like I said, when he got, when he said how good that felt with that, with that blood rushes again, you just want to wiggle your toes to feel so good. So. Okay, so what's next on the table? Uh, God compression comes. All right. So this is our boy Evan. Uh, Ladaris is going to take over from here, kind of, kind of handling Evan. Uh, let's let's see. Wait, before you do that, before you do that, can we look inside and see the inside of that? There's no, this, so this is an ice compression. Uh, or well, this is a cold compression. This is a cold, this is a cryotherapy uh, compression. Well, cryotherapy uh, therapy, basically, right. is what it is. Yeah. Cryo, remember that yes. from, from uh, when you. When it froze, uh, 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 rock, uh, uh, oh, the yeah, 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 I'm going to let you up so that your head is out and elevated. Uh, a lot of people think that their head is in and they're, they're claustrophobic, so they're a little intimidated. Uh, we actually lift your head up out so your head is not in there. Just your body from your neck down is submerged. Uh, once that happens, uh, of course, you're going to take off your robe, take off, you want to expose as much skin. Mm -hmm. your butt, again, you got your phalanges covered. You got fingers and you have toes covered. I think Evan looks pretty good right there, man. Mm -hmm. like, you know, so, so he's smaller than that, so it's gonna lift him up. Huh? It's gonna lift him up. Okay. Yes. Evan looked like he ran off with the plug. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna freeze him for like what 20 years and then he'll be the same. No, not 20 years, not 20 years. And I, I don't think he'll want that. But uh he'll be the same age. <laughs> if it's let's still look the same. Oh, that's neat. Alright. So this he looks like Ezekiel Elliott when you get that, that, that uh, There you go, yeah, there you go. <laughs> so this is actually a three minute process. It takes at least two minutes for your body to go into what they call cryo, cryo zone. Mm -hmm. So you cannot cut this short before two minutes. If you do that, it has no effect on the body. Uh, it has to go at least two minutes. After two minutes, you kind of can call it, uh, but the whole process in itself is three minutes. At three minutes, the machine shuts down, 
the manufacturers do not play uh, with that. So they don't leave it up to the, to the, the operator. The machine in itself shuts down. This particular machine can go up to 290 degrees, 200, negative 290, uh, wow. but we have it set to go to negative 230 because we are dealing with mainly kids at this point. Right. But 230, 290, it, it don't matter. It's, it's cold, it's cold. So, uh, so we're gonna see them free. Huh? We're gonna see them free. So this we're is Evan's serious. first time. Uh, and Evan, uh, Evan is an ex player, uh, a, a guy that used to work out with us. Okay. So he's, he's ninth grade. Uh, plays basketball, and this is going to help him out a lot. So, Evan, you have no idea what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he asked for this. All right, I don't recruit him for this. So, time to explain everything to me. Hey, Evan, so why are you in there? It's going to be like you're taking the screen in basketball. You're just kind of standing there like that. I'm going to have you actually face me first. Okay. So, in between every 15 to 20 seconds, I'm going to have you move from here to here. Okay. All right. Rick? All right, here we go. Get up, boys. Keep your head up. All right. First Friday, all right? <laughs> okay. You can feel that cold. I feel it over oh, here. Can you get cold? Everybody, everybody's body handles the first one differently. So. Come on. Yeah, we do that. Yeah. Bench, you sure you don't want to try? Huh? They, he told me I'm supposed to try it. You need to try it. He told me. I need to try you need it. to try it for the video, for yeah. your audience. So can I? They're waiting. So I can, I can interview while I'm trying it. Yes. <laughs> yes, please. Is it cold? Is it cold? <laughs> Come on, bitch. You can do it. You can do it. It's only three minutes, time. Only three minutes. You can do a bench warmer. Right, right, right. I'm from Texas. Why are you blowing him up? He's him out on the screen. I'm from Texas. We don't do cold weather down here. He's not talking about you. He's doing good. You got that look on your face, like. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. The last minute is going to give it to him. I'm ready to crank it up. I'm looking at the clock. That's actually the temperature up there. Oh, dang. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That's the temperature? <laughs> Dang. <laughs> and what is going up? <laughs> wow. That's the temperature. I don't like cold weather either. You getting in there. <laughs> I got to see you get in there. It's a long time, ain't it? He did it. And it's you negative, what is that? 165 degrees. Wow. Bravo, bravo. Good job. I'm not a cold person. Bench woman, you're next. He looked like, no, no, no. He's like, no. Have you feel like training? This would be good for you. This would be good for you. You guys roll on? Okay, just let me know. Look, I think I'll try the compression. Okay, so what so, so what, what should have done to your body? No cold. Well, well let's get him out of the first. He's, he's down there with the nitrogen. We got it. Okay. 
He said, hold on now. <laughs> I done froze my toes and everything. So to answer your question, um, what's gonna happen? What, here's what happens when you're in the cryo. Uh, your body kind of goes into a fight or flight. So everything, it starts to draw all your blood to your center to protect your core, to protect all your inner, inner core. Uh, it actually gets cold enough that you actually start sweating in there because your body goes into that fight or flight. That's that boost in endorphins. That's that, um, like I said, that fight or flight, you just kind of alert, your, your senses are heightened. Uh, again, I, I, I use it as an example of the movie Limitless. When they pop the pill and now he kind of, kind of everywhere. So that's that's an example I give. It's a euphoria that you get. Uh, so as the body, as everything goes to the core, as he comes out and his body starts to warm back up, it's going to push that fresh blood back out to his extremities, push it back out to his legs, push it back, push it back out to his arms, uh, and he's going to start to feel looser. That inflammation in his body is down. That arthritis. It's starting to be reduced for, for us. That oh, that arthritis, that range of motion that we wish we had that we don't have anymore. Can you let him get dressed? <laughs> Go. So, so as you, as you got it, I don't feel cold. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Before you went in, uh, uh, do you feel a lot different than you, as you come out? Lighter, more bouncy. Yeah. More bouncy. More bouncy. That's that boost of energy. That's that. Yeah. You can just, <laughs> yeah. That's that kind of that. That like I say that um, boost of endorphins that you get. You're kind of ready to go. Also, your muscles are already starting to get loose because you're getting that fresh blood back out to you. So your muscles start to get loose. What would be perfect for him at this moment when he got done? If he was getting ready to play a game, just go out there and start stretching. Start getting warmed up. Start getting loose because. He's already ready to go. Mm -hmm. uh, he's already in that kind of that, that mode to, to go. Uh, or if it was afterwards, you know, we'll put him in something like this, and he'll start to relax and start to calm down. And uh, if it was pre after game, he'll relax and start to come, come down from his activities and uh, begin to relax. Okay. All right. Uh, this is Curtis and Darius, right? Yes, sir. All right. Four on Sports Talk Radio, Four on Radio Network .com. Uh, They want me to do this. I don't know if I should or should not. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then we, so he really, he's really like it. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so. Uh, this, 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 that's the whole smash. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're, we're, we're in the recovery zone, the recovery zone uh, at a Drive Nation. You guys got to come out here. This, this place is so, I mean, it's, it's marvelous. Um, but I did go out and take some shots. That's probably the, the most I'm going to do. I uh, might do the recovery zone. Y'all want to get in the uh, tank? Is the tank? Yes, sir. Do I need to get in there? Uh, yes. Go. Who said no? We all say yes. 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 We say no, yes. You gotta go before me. No, you gotta go. <laughs> no, but I got ankle injuries. And That's why you need to go. <laughs> he said arthritis. It's actually arthritis. Come on, bitch, woman, get on in there. Okay, I'll get in. I'll get in. Now we'll interview after this, but so we're gonna we're gonna cut this, and then we'll they gonna something like that. <laughs> we'll see you guys in a little bit when I'm in the, the cryo, right? There you go, sir. All right, when they freeze. Cryotherapy. So when I come out in about 20 years, I'll still be the same age. There you go. There you go. All right, it's 41 Sports Talk Radio, 4 Radio Network.com. We'll be right back.